you fools. You signed all of our death warrants. Between Ghost Freak, Big Chill, and Eon, if you want to count that, Ben becomes another victim to one of his transformations in the episode Fuse. We return once more to Lost Soledad, where Rad informs Ben that his efforts to help the Andromeda Five actually helped Greg in his pursuit to absorb their powers. Their involvement also indirectly got a handful of plumbers killed, too, which Rad makes sure to mention. It's also revealed that Ben's Ultimatrix is how Greg was able to track the other Andromedas, all of this being oblivious to the trio before now, prompting Rad to want to destroy the watch. This forces the Ultimatrix to defend itself, the first time we see the Ultimatrix specifically using a failsafe. I like how Amphibian's voice changed depending on who was currently in control. Get out of my head! It isn't your head. It's mine! And while Ben has been possessed by aliens before, this is the first time we see him struggle to maintain control at the same time as another being being conscious, as two minds are actively sharing one body, creating a fresh take on a familiar dynamic. This also begins the subplot line of Gwen trying to master the teleporting spell in UA, which I used to like because I'm always a fan of characters working to develop their powers, but upon these rewatches, I've noticed that we've already seen Gwen teleport people with ease on two different occasions, so this subplot is kinda moot. It really sucks to see Kevin lose his home as well. After a lot of pros, we start to see some cons of Ben's life as a hero, which includes many sleepless nights. In addition to that, we hear of Ben having nightmares, which is something that's mentioned a few more times in future episodes. I feel bad for him, but I also like that there are realistic tolls showcased about Ben's lifestyle, as things are never as easy as they may seem. Like Pandora, Rad plays a full-on antagonist role to the trio, but instead of being a criminal, he does so in retaliation of the trio's own blunders, and despite his belligerent demeanor, he's still referred to the other Andromeda as his friends when speaking of them, showing he does actually care about them and isn't doing this for his own selfish survival. Rad, like all of the Andromeda Five, is another great addition to UA. He's got a pretty diverse power set for an electric alien, and it's a shame that Ben doesn't utilize him like this once he unlocks Amphibian. Like Galapagos, Rad goes out of his way to seek out Ben instead of being found by the trio, but he does so with a more malicious intent. But then, he eventually goes back to save the trio after Kevin relates his own selfish ways to him, which is a great character moment for both of them. I don't need to read minds to know what you think. So go, run, steal whatever time it buys you, coward! Seeing Rad overpower Greg was a pretty dope scene, too. And now that they've finally met Greg, he carries a very similar vibe to classic Vilgax, a stoic tyrant in the sole pursuit of power. But unlike Vilgax, Greg's plan has nothing to do with Ben, and Ben is just caught up in all the commotion. The animation has stepped up since the last episode, and we even get a special transformation sequence for when Rad overtakes Ben's body, which looks really cool. I kinda wish we got more transformation like this one. Rad's electricity is also animated very nicely, with its own unique texture to set his powers apart from the usual lightning we see. I like how it changes colors once Rad is possessing the amphibian transformation too. It's also neat to see Greg fight with his staff in different ways. I kinda wish he kept it when he ended up going ultimate. Maybe the staff could have evolved with him. And it was very cool to see the return of the Omnimatrix hacking device from Alien Force. Although this is another Andromeda 5 recapture episode, this one's importance goes up as it finalizes that brief saga, introduces the trio directly to Greg, and puts them on a new path to hunting down Greg before he can complete his first phase of his celestial mission. With the trio's encounter with the evil Osmosian, the final Andromeda alien, and seeds planted to set up for what could be an epic season finale, this episode is certainly up there with its engagement. With the recapturing saga complete, Ultimate Alien has given us a pretty great setup for more episodes to come, and I'm happy to see the series doing well for itself. The Ultimatrix has scanned all five of the aliens, and I'm going to use their powers to save them. 